Good morning. It's Sunday, March 10th, and today is oil change and inspection day for my car. So here we are. Got the hood up, and we're featuring, and no, this is not a sponsor for my channel, so it's just a product we're showing off for Cliff. He bought this special product to help with his oil changes. Um, it's a splatter pad that he's been trying out um, in his oil change canister to help cut down on the splatter having oil go anywhere so we're gonna show it off as he does the oil change on my car because um, obviously I'm never here when he does the oil change on his customers car so we'll show it off when he does oil change on my car because my car is one of the cars that are oil goes everywhere because it's the littler size cars so here we go up in the air Okay, so this is underneath my car, and yes, he's got his, he loves his little O light. But so you gotta take this little pan off my car. Some have protective pans and mine. So I have a 2023 Chevy Trailblazer. So it has this protective pan underneath it. And here is the, where the drain plug is. So I'm gonna step back just a touch because when the oil goes flying, I don't want to get all oil. Ouch. And yes, I just whacked my head on the underside of the lift. Fantastic. So before he had this splash pad in here, what? What happened? It was everywhere. Okay. So like on me, the floor, everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So see this is what happens is it just goes everywhere. And usually I have to run the other way. So now with the splash pad, this is what's happening. The splash pad is catching it and it's not going everywhere. So good product. It's almost like a <clears throat> furnace filter kind of material. It'll drain out and go down into there and then he can recycle it. He has a farmer that comes and gets his waste oil. Okay, so look at the size of the hole. I'm going to try not to get my camera all oil, but the reason that that comes out of there so fast is because the size of the hole that the oil is coming out of. So it just comes gushing out of there and this is the drain plug. Because that's plastic too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a plastic drain plug. So these are getting broken sometimes as well when he's taking them off cars. Ooh, Jesus, what the hell? So what are you replacing when you when those get broken? What are they you replace? I'm supposed to get another one, but I don't have any more, so oh. I keep using them. Okay. I thought you found a replacement on like Amazon or something that you were um, using as a replacement. Oh. You're thinking the oil filter. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. And no, you don't need to over tighten, ah! tighten these things, people. Holy cow. Let's not break it and have a mess. And I'm getting dripped on and rain going down my back here. So this is <clears throat> what it looks like. Like I said, it looks kind of like a furnace filter kind of material, just spongy. But it's, you got that on Amazon, right? Just found it on Amazon.
That's splatter pad. Like I said, not a sponsor of the channel by any means. Just the product showing off. So if anybody else does these kind of home oil rip, you know, changes, he's, you know, not a home oil change. He actually has his own shop. But if anybody does home oil changes and has this issue, just helping you out, showing you a product. Okay, so New York State has changed how they do their inspection. So this is the current inspection sticker. So now they have a new computerized system that's all of this. It prints a whole lot of information out. This is the where the sticker is printed out. They don't have stickers sent to them anymore. It actually prints the sticker takes a picture of who's the inspector up here and you actually have to be standing in front of the camera the inspector has to be standing in front of the camera um, to be able to get the inspection going um, and then continue on with the inspection hook up the machine um, my car is new enough doesn't have to be hooked up right now for the first year but it has to go through, still has to go through the process, through the computer and everything. But these are what the new inspection stickers look like. Has all sorts of information that's printed on them now. So, I'll have you look at what it looks like when it comes out. Taking your picture. Printing the sticker. This is what the new sticker looks like. Much more information. Much different. I know there's a glare. Huh?
So that's it. Oil change, inspection. So I'm good for an inspection for another year. And another 4,000 4, miles on my oil change. Have a great Sunday. Have a great week, everybody. Till next time.